Welcome back YouTubers. Today we're going to talk about the Standard 360 versus the Mega 360. I've had the Standard 360 for about three years. Last year upgraded to the Mega 360. Have not got to run it too much, but so far the imaging is looking really good. But today I thought I'd do a little comparison side by side. I still have my Standard 360. So I'll show you kind of how things hook up and kind of the stuff you'll need to hook up a standard 360 and the mega 360 hopefully later on when the boat comes back from the shop we will be able to get on the water and i'm actually hoping to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a standard 360 versus a mega 360 and actually get you side-by-side -side imaging so that way everyone can kind of see for themselves is it really worth the money so stay tuned we're going to change up the camera and shoot some video here on the boat showing the differences so stay tuned welcome back youtubers i'm going to talk about the standard 360 which is the one on here on the right versus the mega 360 which is the one here on the left both of these are actually for the ultrex that i have on my boat and coming out of the top of a standard 360 you'll actually have your power cord and then you'll actually have an ethernet cord. Now you can run this two ways. You can run this back to your ethernet box and it will plug straight in. And then you will run another ethernet cable to however many units you will be running. But as it comes to your helix unit, you will have to get a doggle cable, which will plug in here and then screw into this. Now if you have a Solix, this is supposed to go straight into the back of the Solix. So that's how a standard 360 hooks up. If you have a Mega 360, you still have two cables. Here's your power cable. Now this cable will actually be a transducer cable. So this unit goes straight to your Helix or Solix unit where the transducer goes and it'll plug straight into your graph. Then if you want to broadcast it to another unit, you will have to also have the doggle cable that goes to your internet cable, which then goes to your internet, internet hub. And then if you want to broadcast it to multiple units. That is the big difference between the Mega 360 and the Standard 360 on how they hook up. The way I have mine hooked up is on an Ultrex. Here's the mount for the Ultrex. The Standard 360 and the Mega 360 have the same mount. Four bolts bolt this to the top of the Ultrex. Then three more bolts bolt this part to this bracket and then the shaft gets secured into the hole. Both of them are identical standard 360 versus a mega 360. If you happen to buy a used standard 360 for your Ultrex make sure you try to get the mounting hardware. They also made it for a Fortrex which it actually has a different mounting system and now the new mega 360 has a universal mount which you might be able to get a hold of hummingbird and buy just the universal mount which will clamp to the side of your boat then you would be able to mount a standard 360 to the side of your boat if you're running a generation 2 hummingbird or older a helix generation 2 or a helix generation 1 um, I believe the 800-900 series also, certain models would also run the standard 360. It's a very good unit. You can buy these used around here in the Midwest for about four to five hundred dollars as of last year. They might have come down a little bit since last year because the Mega 360 has came down in price since it was released. Last year they were going I believe about twelve hundred dollars 
the other night I saw them online, you could get them for about $1,000. So the price has came down on them. If you don't have a 360 on your boat and you're running older graphs, look at getting a standard 360. It is a very good tool to help you. And with the universal mount that Hummingbird has, if you can get the mount from them, you should be able just to mount this to the side of your boat if you don't have an Ultrex or a Fortrex. Over to the Mega 360. When I bought this, I did not have a Generation 3 graph on my boat. I had a Generation 2 graph, which was a Mega side imaging. It was a 12 inch Mega side imaging Generation 2. I got it on sale. The Generation 3s had just came out, talked to the salesperson, a couple factory reps. They said nothing new was coming out. So I saved myself about $500 buying a older graph, a year old graph. Within four months, Mega 360 came out. You have to have a generation three to run it. And first thing I did was sold my graph that was a year old to get a generation three so I could run the Mega 360. So if you're looking at getting a Mega 360, you will need a Generation 3 graph, and it has to be a Mega, which would be a Mega Down or a Mega Side. My graph in the back here is a Generation 2. It is a Down Imaging, but it is not a Mega. Now, it will show the Mega 360 image on the screen but that's only because it's running through the Mega 3. Basically, my Mega 360 runs straight to this graph, out the internet cable to my internet, internet hub on the boat, then back up to my Generation 2 graph. So that's how the Mega 360 has to work. Um, when I first got it, I was kind of disappointed that I had to upgrade a $1,500 graph and get a $2,000 graph that wasn't even a year old. Um, now, Mega Live is coming out March 2021. According to the stuff online, which they still haven't released completely, is it will work with a Generation 3 or a Generation 4. So hopefully I don't need to go get a Generation 4 to show the image on my Generation 3. All right guys, we're going down into one of my storage units. And if you guys can see right there is actually my internet hub where I have my Helix 10 my two Helix 12s and also my Minn Kota Ultrax trolling motor is all linked into this hub. Um, the open port, which I believe is port number two, is actually where the standard 360 used to connect to. Now with the Mega 360, it actually goes straight to your graph and then that information has to go through the graph, through the internet cable back to this hub and then it will be broadcast to your other two units if that's what you're doing. So that's how I actually have mine hooked up to the internet. All right guys, that's about it for this video. The next video I'm hoping to get both of these mounted to the front of the boat with a special bracket that I'm making. I'd like to broadcast Mega 360 here, Standard 360 back here, and actually give you a side-by-side -side comparison and some images with the Mega 360 versus the standard 360. Let you guys decide if it's really worth the investment. Give you an idea if you're not running 360, what you're missing on a standard 360, what you might be missing on the Mega 360. Uh, another advantage with the Mega 360 is you can stop it from spinning and it will actually go into side imaging mode 
on a down image unit. So you can get front side imaging on a down imaging unit. That is a big plus with a Mega 360. That's something new that they added. So stay tuned guys. We're gonna have some more videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. And we'll be making some more videos.